Hello, my name is Lina Green, and I'll be moderating the panel on rural broadband. Uh, it will actually be a very interesting discussion because we have panelists both from the emerging markets as well as from the developed countries. And as you know, rural broadband means different things to different people. Are we talking about access of broadband of 256 kilobits or access of 30 megabits? And what is rural? Uh, rural in an emerging market is very different from rural in the developed market. So these are some of the perspectives that will be taken. In some ways, you could categorize the three areas. One would be looking at the regulatory issues as different regulatory bodies are looking at how do we promote rural broadband because they see this as an economic imperative to um, bring economic prosperity to the country. Um, at the same time, um, is that a human right? If people talk about access to communications, but is that access to a phone call and then it became internet and then now it's broadband. So these are the, some of the issues um, that would be looked at. Do you need funding in that? Is there grants that are necessary or is there sufficient business models? Now the business model side of it is also very interesting. Some countries would then give out a grant or a bid and most of the times in some countries, the big companies get these grants, whereas some people are point of the view that smaller companies, community providers, should actually be encouraged because the cost of acquisition of customers and the cost of provisioning is a lot lower. Therefore, they should be uh, encouraged to provide these uh, services. There's also a component of technology because are we talking about bringing fiber to the rural areas? Are we talking about bringing 4G to the rural areas? And then you have interesting um, technologies that are being adopted uh, say in India, like mesh Wi-Fi, where they're offering up to one gigabit up in the mountains of Dharamsala. So these are very interesting components of rural broadband. And then last but not least, I think um, one of the critical parts of bringing rural broadband, which is the same question we talked about when we were trying to universal service, is can you really bridge the digital divide without bridging the energy divide? Because in a lot of, especially in emerging markets, the rural areas also have an energy issue. And so the component of being able to address the two, looking at energy efficient technologies, as well as using green energy to bridge the digital divide where broadband is concerned. So this is quite a wide range of topics. We have about uh, six panelists looking at it from different perspectives. I strongly encourage you to come to our session because it proves to be very, very interesting and I'm sure we would learn a lot from what you have to contribute, but I promise you, you will have a lot to learn from what the panelists have to say. So see you at our session.